it is, I think, day 190 of from here to Jerusalem. Um, where am I? I am here. Oh, my knee all of a sudden. Um, where am I? I should know this. I'm in Gulpina. Yesterday I walked just under 20 kilometers. It was a, a nice walk. And my knee is hurting now. I don't know where that is coming from. Uh, I had a nice walk. I met these these women working in a field and they went they wanted to know of course everything. Who was I? Where did I come from? And uh, there was an old man with him, denied him. And uh, who was uh, saying, yes, no, there is, there is a road here to Jerusalem. And I were going, but we, we didn't know, how, how, do, how, how do you know this? I said, well, just follow, follow the, follow the signs, like the signs are there. She's going, but I don't understand. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going in the right way now, the right direction. Um, am I going in the right way? Hang on. So they fed me, uh, I am going in the right direction. They fed me uh, eggs and bread and zaitan and they gave me of course cheese and more bread and because that's what, <laughs> that's what these wonderful women do. Ah, look, this is where we're going this morning. Okay, this is a messy start, like, let me try this again. So. Good morning, good morning, good night and good night. It is day 390 of from here to Jerusalem, walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. No Sean the harp, no Jared stick, just me. We're going sightseeing. That's where we came from and we are going to see, can you see the columns there? The Apollon Smithsonian or whatever way you pronounce it. <clears throat> it's incredible. The story of Troy in an Apollo temple, which was destroyed uh, when the Romans arrived here. It's still amazing. So yesterday I was stopped by these women. Uh, we had, to, they gave me uh, something to drink and something to eat and we had a good old chat and we made a selfie and they were <clears throat> they were working in the uh, on their beans in the fields, and uh, the whole the whole day I walked. Um, I, I, I had left late around eleven o'clock uh, because it was hard to leave again. And uh, Smither, I can't pronounce these words anymore. I'm tired. I'm t I'm tired after more than a year. I'm I'm just I'm. I'm often, I'm just really tired. Uh, but this area is just amazing. Apollon Smintheon. Smintheon. Apollon Smintheon. We're going to Apollon Smintheon. Uh, the whole day I walked in between the, the, uh, what is it? The olive trees and in between they plant like beans and tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. I watch them uh, make hay and they're starting to harvest. There are all these women, you know, working in the fields. It was lovely. Uh, tired and a bit lonely. I'm lonely. It was my mommy's birthday yesterday. It was a lonely day. I saw my daughter try to call me yesterday and I, I didn't. I tried to call her back and I don't know I don't know I don't know but it's amazing being here uh, this part of the world I don't know how you know we we, we do this you know I, there is an amazing history where I live as well but this is the stuff I grew up with. How did I never think about coming here before? I don't understand. But that's just the way it is. So now I am seeing it because I've walked here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 
I stopped twice uh, because I was getting very warm. It was about 23 degrees and it takes the body always a, a good while to really get used to uh, b being in the heat. My dad always used to say like your blood needs to thin down a little bit. And then I arrived in Gupinar. So Gupinar is on the way to Assos. It's 120 kilometers of, uh, of, of a road which is which is indicated, we made photographs of the signage, the white and uh, white and red signage. Saint Paul, history, history, history. Look at this. It's all there, like, it's all there. So yesterday we also, we walked through um, through the, um, you know, all of this is like really, really, really old. It's really old. It's just amazing. Oh, here we have an old well. Yeah, I think the pictures speak for themselves. Like, um, I, I arrived here yesterday evening. There is one pension in the in the town, <coughs> the Hector Pension. They uh, <coughs> he started with a, with a, with a, a making of olive oil, and <coughs> they also have then the restaurant and the pension. They were very 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 nice to me. We had a beer <laughs> together. He was telling me about his time as a muhta, about the. Uh, Apollon Smintheon and he said just stay for another day and yeah I should I, you know I forget that even though uh, I have the feeling I'm going really slow but on the other hand I'm making my way like <clears throat> I'm doing the distances so it's okay and this is where we're gonna go look at that like okay are we ready for this sorry for being a bit scatty uh, this is all still part of the of of the of the Troy um, the the Troy story um, some of the friezes on this uh, on this temple uh, depict scenes from the war of Troy uh, of the Hellenistic period let's go have a look at it let's go have a look at it it is amazing was there anything else I was thinking about yesterday yeah, yesterday was a bit hard because it was my mom's birthday and I don't know, like, I don't know, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it was a beautiful walk, it was warm, <clears throat> the scenery was beautiful, I had very little to say, very little to think, um, I tried to enjoy it as much as I could and now I'm here and I'll try and enjoy this as well, yeah, let's go do this. So these, <clears throat> this is a copy of the legs of Apollo. Uh, I believe the original ones are in another museum somewhere. Uh, he let me in for free. I know they used to pay here. I don't know what the rats are about, but obviously they, uh, there must have been a lot of rats around. There are Apollo's legs. I mean, 
It must have been some statue like. So the owner of uh, the Hector Ponchon, he told me that uh, initially they didn't want to dig all of it up. But in the end, two hujas were sent and uh, a report was made and here it is. I have actually never been to a temple. Look at those columns. Wow. And this is all part of what they found. Wow. Columns. More columns. Unbelievable. Here we go.
What's interesting is that yesterday I was having a break in a field and then as I got up I saw this and I was thinking it's in a field like there's wheat all around it can't be that old but it looked really old so it turns out it is the bridge over the Tuzla which led to uh, uh, Alexander had Troyes, 30 kilometers from here. I was there two days ago. And this is the road that led there. 
So they dug up, they found 50 meters of it. It's the original paving. Look at it, it's beautiful. There's no track marks on it, so they say people must have come on foot. So it was like a holy, holy journey. Oh my God. And there are columns, of course, with inscriptions uh, telling us, uh, you know, dedications, etc. on this road. And they were found in the original position. I am just like, oh, I feel like I'm back in Italy and in, uh, in Sofia. Can I get on there? Am I allowed to be on there? I'm going to go put my feet on there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I was telling Fib, it did not get destroyed uh, when the Romans arrived. It stayed in use up to the 4th century, uh, the 4th century at Dominum. Uh, the water sources were one of the reasons uh, this place became a temple to Apollo. And this is the only temple that has uh, that is dedicated, that had the friezes that were dedicated to uh, Homer's, Homer's Iliad. Uh, key moments of the, of the Iliad were, uh, were, were cut into marble over the columns and people came here for healing and for uh, oracle. Uh, oracle use. Uh, the one building that has no description is the small hammam. It's the small, uh, the small bath, which I'm standing in front of now. Here, this one. Uh, but this place has been inhabited for a long, long time, uh, and probably because there was so much water, uh, people would have come here for uh, for sacred duties. The road, of course, is for me. The, the temple and the road are the two things that are really, really, those roads. Like, I walked by that bridge yesterday. I didn't know it was that bridge. The thing that is heartbreaking for me is that I'm alone here. It is uh, May. It's past the middle of May. There is nobody here. Not a soul. I am alone here and uh, the caretaker. How is that possible? There should be people here. There should be a lot of people here. 
this bath, the main bath here, has some of the best preserved structural things. Like the, the, the water pipes are still in there. They're in the ground. You can see them. Uh, the sports hall with the columns, it is really well preserved. People should be coming here. Everybody should, who is interested in early history should be here. <laughs> that, that baffles me. That really baffles me. It is stunning. It is just beautiful. And that road, I put my feet on it. No track marks. People walked this. So if it was there in the 4th century, Good old Paul, he would have walked that road. He loved walking. <laughs> Some people just do. <laughs> Some people just do. <sighs> I think I need some food. I might need some soup. I might need some soup. That would be nice. It's just amazing. But if people don't come, then all of this will fall into disuse again. And they should be digging more. They should be protected. I'm just, just amazed, like, it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Said you know 